Blood pressure in our country was 120 over 80. That was considered the, the healthy standard. Um, back in 2012, I believe it was, the American Heart Association decided to change that and say that healthy blood pressure is now a 110 systolic with a 72 diastolic. Why did they do that? Yeah. I would imagine that puts more people in the, in it, the danger zone. Absolutely puts more people in the danger zone. If you if you lower the threshold, if I say, you know, tall people are all over five foot six, and then I'm like, wait, I actually mean five foot four. Suddenly there's more tall people in the world because I just changed the definition, right? But nobody's height actually changed. Um, you know, the, the American Heart Association's justification was they realized that 120 over 80, they decided is now pre-hypertensive. Um, and that just means that that person may you know, be in the danger or maybe, uh, you know, on the rise. Um, I try not to be cynical with it because I think, well, if more people are diagnosed and standard of care is that the more you diagnose somebody, the more that you end up having to prescribe antihypertensives. So I'm like, well, if you just change the definition and more people got diagnosed, that literally means more people also got prescribed. Um, I don't know. I, I don't, I don't like thinking that that's the way the world works. Um, but I'm also not naive. It seems like a good way to push product, if you know what I mean.